What's going on YouTube day back again and today we're going to be taking a look at some more resin and this big kit right here is a quarter scale originally by Volks cast by GK model of course and this is going to be Selvaria Bless from Valkyria Chronicles. So without further ado let's jump down the table and take a look at what comes in the box. See you down there. All right so here we are with the Selvaria Bless and uh, she is a big girl. Now, keep in mind, uh, I haven't looked close at her face, but depending on how they ended up doing her, it pro it may have the very same style that Volks has a tendency of doing it with their kits with the little pointy nose. I don't know yet, but this was originally done quarter scale by Volks. And this, of course, is cast and distributed by GK Model. It is a recast, so no hate, no comments on that um just enjoy the unboxing um again this is uh i did end up looking this up originally by volks this was done in colored resin just like the oscar that i've been showing you guys but gk did it all in white white is a pain in the butt to film and get you guys all the details so probably what i'll do is i'll trim it up i'll spot glue it and prime it and give you guys a once around you know here sometime i don't know when taking off the lid you are greeted by an instruction manual there's a whole bunch of parts in here and we'll go that through that here in a second um, i'll show you guys you get one pack two pack three pack four packs five packs six packs seven packs more bubble wrap eight nine if that's her butt she's got a big old bubble butt 10 11 the pillar that she leans across holy crap you could knock someone out with it it's huge uh and this is what 12 i think this is pack 12 and that's it all right so i hope you enjoyed that video guys i will see you guys all in the next video now nah, i'm just joking with you guys let's get into this thing all right, first up, we have instructions. Unlike Tifa, she's got instructions. And you get some water slides for the eyes. And I have to tell you, mm, that plasticky AMSR. The eyes, these water slides are actually well done. Um, I can see the edges of them. They're not overly thick. I actually, for once, some eyes I like. Good job. Now this kid, of course, is for me, not anybody else. And uh, I don't know. I have a thing about big kits. I like quarter scale stuff. So yeah. So again, originally done by Volks. Instructions are in color. The instructions are clear. That's a good thing. Um, all of this is in Japanese. You can use the translator to get to that. Quarter scale, high quality, uh, unassembled color resin kit. This, of course, is not colored. It is all in white, sculpted by Zakuri Mura. And when I first looked at the instructions, I was surprised because they're double-sided. So folding open, you get a parts list of everything that comes in it. And you can see originally, you know, there were the black pieces and the original, I didn't pay attention. The original had brass rods in the sword and in the gun barrel. Well, they did that with this too. You get the base. You get her, which they did, and it, originally it looked kind of looks like a lavenderish blue color. I don't know, and then white, dark red. You get some instructions on here on like how to apply the water slides, how to add makeup detail. Um, let's see, how to take care of seam lines and the pore marks. On this sheet here, you have the instructions for the body, the legs, and man, this thing's got some legs on her. Uh, you get some other stuff down here, like what colors to paint things, how to prime and top coat. On the back side of that sheet, you get the instructions for the arms, the weapons, and the base. And then it's showing you over here how to paint, do washes and everything, how to paint your metallics and get them uh, looking like real metallics. It looks like they're using some... Uh, can't tell if that's Vallejo or AK Interactive weathering powders. But it kind of looks like a Vallejo bottle. Man, getting this hair out of there was kind of like trying to get an octopus out of the ocean. Like, holy crap. Um, the hair looks really well done. Um, kind of odd. There's some like 
plasticky pieces in the hair here. But I'm surprised I didn't see anything that looked broken or chipped. Hair looks well done, well cast. I don't see any big seam lines. You get these other strands right here. Uh, you got a you get a pore tab right here. This one, little pore tab right here. This one, pore tab right here. And on hers, looks like her pore tab was right here on top of the head and they actually took it off. But they actually left part of it on there so you can actually clean it up yourself. So, good job. Now next up are the two pieces that I was really interested by. And I think I showed this in the live stream that I did on Monday. So there is a big ass brass rod that goes through here. And I'm pretty sure that they cast it this way. Uh, it's the only thing that makes sense. You can kind of see the, uh, if you can see the darkness, like this side looks white. You can kind of see the darkness through the, the holes that are on here or the divots. Um, so it looks like in that section, maybe it was a little bit closer to the brass rod. Looking at it, it looks a little bit that way. Uh, but what was concerning, and a friend of mine actually sent me a picture of his that he just received, is both of our swords are bent like this. And I don't think there's a way that they could have not had it turn out that way. There is a rod, brass rod in here that goes all the way through, and that's easily to deal with. But what I would do is heat up this section right here and then bend it past the point that you need. Like bend it a little bit this way hold it and then run it under cold water so that it sets because what you want to do is you want to one make the uh make the resin slash plastic um flexible all of a sudden it likes to decide to start talking so my concern isn't so much the resin we can heat that up we can straighten it out and just get it back straight but this brass rod if you don't get flexed back a little bit when you cool that it's going to pull it back into this position so that's what ended up happening so again you could do it under really hot water or just dip this in a pot of hot water bend it probably to about like that and then run it under cold water and let it set and you should be good and that should stay straight next up we have more legs the details on here, now luckily the details that are on here are big. Uh, the filigree that's on here is really nice. Her legs are huge. Um, and by huge, I mean they're just really long, which is really common with, uh, I think that she's this way in the anime series, but uh, Volks has a tendency of making their girls with really long legs. Now I'm looking over this as I'm rotating and I'm not seeing, uh, it looks like there's a poor mark here. Uh, actually, that was probably a vent for this. The poor marks right here. I'm actually not seeing any um, any seam line or mold line. So that's interesting. Taking a look at the other leg, same way. Very well done. If they did do a mold line, it's probably running right across here. Actually, I see a little bit of red right here. So I think that's where they marked it with maybe an ink pen. There's a little bit right here on the heel. All right, on this portion right here, these are gonna be her, her thighs. And wow, okay, so these are kind of hefty. Gonna go in just like that. I'm not sure what this is. It's it's sticky. So it's sticky. I'm not gonna lick it uh, and find out what it was. I think someone was maybe eating a candy bar when they wrapped this. I don't know. What are you guys doing over there? Um, but I just did a little wipe with a little alcohol right there and it took it right off. So it's not permanent. I th I don't know what it is. But the details that, that are in in here for the, the pattern of her garment uh, is really well done. It's, it's there. It's not super deep, um, but it's not super shallow if, if that makes any sense. Looks good. The other leg right here going to go in just like that and if you guys can see it i'll try and get you guys a good angle on it um you can kind of see the pattern that's on there i've said it before you know i love their resin and i love the quality of their resin but it's a bitch to try and film and on this piece too man i think someone was just hungry because they got just got food stuffs all over it like this is all sticky so i was trying to figure out what i was feeling wobble so you have this section which is her waist and then you have this section, which is her shoulder blades, her shoulders and her shoulder blades. 
it meshes together just like that and then you're going to have pieces that go around um volks does a great job in their design of how things go together i just i really like them shoulders look really good uh looks like they took care of the majority of the mold or the pore marks on the shoulders right here next baggie up is going to be the trigger and the main portion of the gun looks pretty straight Needs some cleanup on there, but not horrible. Another portion of the gun. This looks to be the butt of the gun. You get the pour mark right there. So it's actually casted with a hole for a pin so you can pin it in there. And I've noticed that with a lot of Volks things, it has the markings, which is really nice. I appreciate having the markings so that you can line up your, your pin. Uh, another piece I'm going to assume for the gun right here. These, let's see if we can figure out where these go. So this is going to go on the shoulder blades, just like that. So that's cool. I'm not sure where these end up going. I don't know yet, but we'll figure that out. They look like they go over the arms, but we'll, we'll sort that out later. Next up is another baggie. So you actually have her collar. So that's going to go on there. You get, looks like a part of her skirt. Uh, it's nice and thin, but it's really well done. I like the fabric folds and everything that are on there. You get this piece right here. Another piece of fabric, some detail pieces. This looks to be for probably the cuffs of the sleeves, I would think. Another one right here, and the details on here are really nice. Like, they're big, so there's no reason for them not to be, but it's nice that they're on there. Um, let's see, you get part of her arm and sleeve, so it looks like from just above the elbow down, and then one of these cuffs is going to go on to here, and somewhere in here we have her hands. Okay, this baggie I am not going to crack open right now. There are a lot of little filigrees, um, or, f uh, what are they, Fleur de Lours, right? Sisters of Battle have them. Um, but there's a lot of those in here. There's a lot of little tiny pieces. I'm not going to crack this open right now. In this baggie right here. You get this giant chain. You get, I, I'm not sure. This kind of looks like it's supposed to go over a booby. Um, looks like a cage. Her hands, which are gloved. Her hands look really good. Piece of arm, detail pieces. Looks like piece of a gun. Uh, lots of little pieces. The other hand, more chain, more little detail pieces. We'll go through all those later on. We're almost done, guys. We're almost done. Oh, hey, I found the boobies. Okay, so here is her waist section. Look, she has pantsu with de decorations. So this goes together just like this. I just, I don't know. I think all their pieces are like puzzles and I really like them. So here is her waist section. Here is her bust section and that's going to go on just like that. They're kind of pointy. Uh, you do have a little seam offset right here or mold line offset. No big deal. So it doesn't look too crazy like you have to have things in certain orders, but it does go together well. The pieces joined up really well right there. That's kind of what she's going to look like that. And then here's her head. Okay, wait. We saw her collar. So here's her collar. Roughly, okay. And then her head. And yes, she's got the little pointy nose. But she's, she's supposed to. I looked at the anime. She's supposed to have the little pointy nose. So one thing I would have given her eyes is just a little more uh, inset or defining sculpting line on this bottom side and maybe up here. Um, I mean, I don't want to define it as a Western style, but I think it would have given it more definition. We'll have to take a look. I may just end up like scribing just a little line under there but we'll end up seeing. We've got extra water slides to, to play around with that. We're almost done, guys. I promise. By almost done, there's still three packs. All right, so here's part of the base. We're gonna set that to the side. Oh, here's her bottom booty covering. So I, I mean, I like, oh, hey. Hi, hi there. We, we got booty cheeks. We get demonetized, booty cheeks. Um, so yeah, there's the bottom half of the skirt. Here's the front half of the skirt. So that's going to go together like that, which I don't know if these are optional and you can, I don't know, knowing folks, who knows? All right, next to the last package. So here is the very bottom of the base. Uh, very well done, very nice and stable, heavy duty. I like that. And then I think this piece, it's keyed. It's going to go like that. 
So that looks about right. All right, and then the last piece here, I do really like the, the details that are on here. I do really like the details that are on here. Uh, you got the lion's heads, everything, everything just looks great. Uh, so you have the base here, it has a little notch. So you have the base here, key, you got a little notch. It's gonna fit in just like that. And there we go. And this thing is uh, probably about 10, 11 inches tall. You do get a little bit of play in there, but we'll pin that and secure that nicely. Uh, it is big, but it kind of needs to be because she's leaning up against it. All right, boys and girls. So I, I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, I'm going to probably clean up some tabs on this at some point, tack it together with some glue, and then throw some probably Vallejo primer on here, something that's easy, easily strippable just so I can put it on the rotating table and show you guys what it looks like uh, and all the details and everything. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that like button. Please consider subscribing if you haven't already. It helps boost my ego. And as usual, I will see you guys all in the next video. Peace out, YouTube.